Good morning everyone welcome back to Coding Hives. In today's video we are going to solve a problem that is reversing each word in a sentence. So here we have given a string uh, like hello world okay. So we should return something like this. I mean reverse of hello then a reverse of word okay. So the order remains same. I will solve uh, this problem in four ways. So first we will start the easiest method. So first I am solving this problem using list comprehension. So for that I will write a function def uh, reverse each word. Okay. So here I am passing one argument like the sentence. Okay. So here what I need to return is I need to uh, reverse each word right. I will use uh, dot then I will join each word. So here join then each comprehension like uh, I will extract each word from the sentence okay. And I will find the reverse of that num word. So this is for uh, getting the reverse of each word. Then what I am going to do is I will use a for loop like for word in sentence. Sentence dot I will split that sentence. Okay. Split. That's it. So here this sentence dot split breaks the string into list of words. For example in this hello world there are a result something like this. Uh, like a list and we will get two words like hello and word okay and next we are doing word of uh, this one next is this one this is list comprehension right this is the code to reverse a word right so this will uh, does a uh, reverse of each word okay and whenever we are doing this join this will join the reverse reverse back with the spaces. Okay. So now we will try to uh, call this function. So I am calling print uh, our function reverse each word. Then argument I can pass hello word right. So here I will pass hello word. So now I will uh, try to run this code. We can see our output is something like this, right? So here the time complexity and place complexity is order of n only, okay? Now we will understand the same problem with another way, uh, like using for loop, okay? So in this method, what I am going to do is, I will uh, again write the same function name, uh, reverse each word. then argument as sentence so here what i'm going to do is first i will split uh, the sentence okay so i will create a list like sentence dot split okay so this will give us output something like this like it will give a list uh, as we wrote before like hello then okay so this is the output of this sentence dot split. Okay. Now what I am going to do is I will uh, declare another array. Uh, like a reversed. Um, I can say reversed words. Okay. Then I will just initialize as an empty list. Now I will go for a loop. Like for um, word in word. So it will go for each word. Then I will uh, use this reversed words. Then I will append this reversed words with the reverse of this corresponding word. Okay. So like word using this slicing we can do. Okay. Now we need to join them with the uh, spaces. Okay. So I will simply return, uh, return using this dot join. So here we splitted the sentences then we created an extra list to store the reverse words 
then we loop through each word and find out the reverse of each word and store it in this reverse reward list then we simply join them with the spaces clear now i will call the same uh, function so i will just copy from here now i will run this code we are getting the same right Here also the time and space complexity is order of n. So now I will explain the same problem using stack. Okay. So the third way is using stack. I hope you know what is meant by stack. Stack is a LIFO late data structure that is last in first out. So here I am writing the same function. Uh, reverse each word. Then sentence. So here what I'm going to do is I will create two lists uh, like result and one list for word. Okay. Now I'm going to each character. Okay. So here for char in sentence. So it will go for each character and I'm checking. If uh, that character is space, that means we uh, we got a word, right? Like we finished a word. So we need to do something like this. If char not equal to uh, space, okay? If this is not a space, that means we didn't completed a word. That is the logic, okay? So I will append that character into this word, okay? So here I will append this character. Otherwise it means that when we hit a space we can pop a characters from the word list like a stack. So this will reverse the word automatically right. So that I am going to do here. So for that I can give like while, uh, while word like that means till the end of the word. We can simply pop that things like that will pop uh, from this word and we can append into the result list. Okay, so result dot append word dot pop. Okay, so this will get the reverse automatically. Okay, and at the end, I just need to append a space. Right, so I can uh, at the end, I can uh, just append. Um, a space clear that means uh, the space between uh, the two words okay so now uh, we just reversed each word right now we need to reverse the entire string so for that I can do while word then a result dot append Then I can use word dot pop. So this is for reversing the entire uh, sentence. Okay. Now I can uh, simply return um, dot um, join. Then this result. Right. So here what we did is we build each word character by character. Okay. Then when we hit a space, we pop characters from this word list. So here is tag. So this will reverse the word. Okay. Now after that we join everything back into the string. Now I will call this same function. Reverse. Now I will run this. You can see we got the output. Alright. So here also the time and space complexity is order of n. All programs we are using extra memory. Right. So the last way I am solving this problem is using an in place reversal. In place means we are not using any extra memory. So this is more space, space efficient uh, than these three things. I mean these three algorithms or programs. 
so here the last method is using in place i will convert the string to a list first okay so first what i'm going to do is cars is equal to a list of sentence okay so this means that we will convert the string to a list of characters so here it is something like each character will be the items okay then what i am going to do is i will uh, find the length of this uh, characters i mean how many characters in this strings okay then i will initialize a variable like start equal to zero okay then what i am going to do is i will use a loop like for i can use end for end in a range of n plus one that means starting from zero till the end okay i will check if this end is equal to n or this end is equal to space that means we finished a word right so here i can check something like this if end is equal to n or end is equal to space that means it is a word right then what i'm going to do is I will use two pointers like the start and end pointers right so here I can use while it is like a two pointer method while left less than or right I can use cars yeah before that I need to use uh, this left comma or right is equal to left will point for the start and This one will be, uh, we can give end minus one, okay. So here I will use cars of left, comma, cars of right is equal to only swapping. So cars of uh, right, comma, cards of left okay just increment these two pointers like left like left we need to increase and uh, right we need to decrease okay so i can write left plus is equal to one and right minus is equal to one okay clear and once done this we finished one word so we need to add like this start equal to end plus one okay Now we can simply return this like uh, join cars. So here what we did is we convert the string into a list. Then we traverse the list and reverse each word in place. So we are not using any extra memory or list. Here no new strings list is created. We just swap the characters. Okay. So now I will call this function. You can see reverse each word. Here uh, the character is that uh, character in that array at end position is space, right? So here I can use cars of end equal to space. Also, I need to make this return outside the loop, right? Now, we will try to run this code. Yeah, we got the output, okay? So, here, the time complexity is order of n as uh, the previous programs. But here, the space complexity is order of 1, okay? So, this is the most efficient solution in terms of memory. I hope this video helped uh, you understand the logic behind each method. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.